Okay, we are going to cover an exciting announcement by Click. Uh, I just saw it today. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover that in a de uh, little bit detail. What that that's mean? Uh, I think this is one of the biggest um, thing that Click has done recently, um, and it gives a lot of power to already existing clicks and set analysis. So let's. Uh, it says that they have added a new syntax, which essentially allows the set analysis conditions to be at the start of the expression rather than in between okay so let's see what does that mean so let me just start with the new expression so I am I'm going to make a KPI chart in here so this particular chart I'm gonna add here and let's just start with some basic one let's sales amount okay so here it is so I'm gonna do a simple set analysis. I'm gonna year 2012. Let's just copy it. And you know, I have just B sales and I'm gonna make another KPI chart and I'm gonna use the new syntax so it's important to know that the both syntax works there is no difference it's just an additional syntax not change in syntax essentially it's a new syntax so you see it, uh, it doesn't matter if i have the condition outside or inside so i get the same results that is a very good thing so another uh, so uh, yeah another note to be um, uh, taken is that uh, this is uh, available in our uh, SAS tenant at the moment. It's immediately available. I'm not sure whether which version of the ClickSense on-premise version will have it, uh, but it's available at the moment on cloud versions. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to work is I'm going to add a set analysis within it. So now what uh, they have called it, it's called they have called it this expression as scopes so this is outer scope this is inner scope so the inner scope let's just name category as swimwear and let's see what it does so i have oops i think i missed something yeah so i have swimwear sales for 2012 okay so you see i have 2012 sales for swimwear so this means that now essentially this is adding to this particular set analysis so these both are being added but uh what if we use the identifier click set set identifiers which is uh like using if i use one in here so it's going to ignore this year 2012 so the uh, the expression that comes before here this thing is ignored if i use so in the documentation it said essentially this particular expression is defining set identifier which essentially by default it's current selection but if you define something in here it will become uh you're this one and if you have one which means ignore any selection then it's going to ignore this one as well and for example if you use the previous selection even in that case it's going to ignore we don't have any previous selection so that's why it's not working but it's going to ignore if there is anything in here then it's going to ignore this particular expression uh, essentially this is our current selection or my set identifier so this is one thing then let's move to what if i have year 2013 in here so let's see what happens in here so as soon as i have that so it basically ignore any if I have same selection in both places on the same field, same, then it's going, this particular inner one is going to supersede this one. It's just like, you know, if we have 
a current selection in here, then basically this particular thing supersedes the current selection. There is no impact of any selection in there. Okay, so this is another part that I wanted to show. Then the third thing, uh, the next thing, rather fourth one, I'm going to show is the scoping. Basically, this scope is kind of universal for all the expressions. So I have this sum of sales. And let's say I want to have divided, divide, I have want to divide it by distinct customer count. Okay, so it's essentially uh, uh, including that. So let me just uh, have a comparative KPI so that you can see that. We can compare it as well. So let's say we just have this one and this one in here. And if we say that. So you see the both the values are same. So this means now set analysis will allow me I have one condition and it will apply to both of these expressions or it's not both of these any number of expression I have that is going to be this particular expression is going to be applied on that. So this is another uh, good uh, uh, thing. So this is where it get interesting. So a lot of times we have uh, we want to apply a set analysis uh, and we have to write it again and again and again the same conditions again and again uh, that basically uh, causes a problem or you know it, uh, has uh, b the question become very long and then we have to change at one place we have to change at a lot of places so it, it would be, have been becoming a problem so it will help us to manage our complex expressions. Okay, so now let's just add another twist to that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of uh, rather I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to add some of mar, uh, mar margin is basically in the end. I'm going to add net sales amount. So it's just, you know and average net sales and let's mm, subtract it yeah let's just subtract it okay so i have so essentially this is my net sales and this is my gross sales so which essentially uh, this particular amount is my discount okay average discount but if i want to limit that you know this set analysis should only be applicable on the first two, but it should not be applicable on the last two. So what I can do is I can put these brackets in here. So this is the starting and this is defining the scope of the set analysis. And you know, the number changes. So I can define the scope of the set analysis by including that in the parenthesis. So it means that this is just related to this particular, these particular expressions. Okay. I'm just for, for the time being, I'm just going to ignore that. And now I'm going to, uh, okay, so this is essentially very much it. And then the set analysis can be, this particular thing can be used in aggregation functions as well. And all those uh, set operations like addition, union, uh, intersection, they are available as well outside for the outer set analysis. So they are called outer scope, inner scope. So it's available for the outer scope as well. So this is a very good thing and I'm really excited about it. Now, uh, in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk about, you know, these are very simple steps and uh, for, uh, apart from making it, uh, you know, uh, decreasing the size of uh, the expression, it seems like they're not doing much. So let's add a twist to it, uh, not um, just add my imagination to it as well. So, let's say I will call it advanced use of new set analysis. So ideal would be using it with master items and the variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
create a master over here and let's call it sum of sales amount and let's call it sales and then Okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna create another one called sum of unit cost into quantity. And I'm going to call it COGS. And then I have another expression. I'm gonna call it my margin. And then let net sales and uh, this net sales is going to be net sales amount sum of net sales amount there you go okay that is great so we have now net sales we have cost of goods sold so we have these three expressions now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable and i'm going to name it as condition variable and let's call it condition here and uh, i'm going to the definition is year is equal to 2012 and i'm going to create this one and then i'm going to call another variable called c category and then the definition i'm going to include is Category name is equal to swimwear. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna create again a KPA chart in here and I'm gonna create a my year. I'm gonna use sales. I'm going to have cost of goods sold. Divided by sales. So this is my margin. This is simple. I have the margin. Uh, let's just put it in percentages. Okay, that looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define a scope. So this is where I'm going to start using my variables. So it's C here. Oh, sorry. I need to have dollar sign expansion. Okay, so this is for 20, this expression. And then comma, I can add an other condition, C category. Okay, so you know, you see, we have this liberty that these are our master expires and these are our master conditions. So whenever a year you want to change the year will change here and uh, this is the condition so you just try to use this is your master condition v year one v year two and you just add these conditions in here and they will automatically uh, you know start uh, having an impact uh, for on all the expressions so and it can be you know a very complex expression like you know uh, i call it um, uh, let's say i have a set a condition called uh, we my imp current employees in division a who are star performers so i have a set analysis uh, or condition for them very yes, big one with four or five fields so i can just write it in there and i can just add simple condition in here and i can use this condition at multiple times uh, i've already used this in set analysis in some cases uh, to simplify a condition and change at one place making it 
change it every place but now this is even a bigger one now we have the option to do that within the exp um, expression editor itself thank you very much for watching uh, stay tuned for new videos